And the next question. My name is Sayyid Bayazid Islam. I'm from Bangladesh. Is boxing or MMA, mixed martial arts fightings, income halal in Islam? A similar question is asked. My name is Amar Nazir Ahmed from India. I'm a big fan of your work, sir. I want to ask you whether if MMA, mixed martial arts, is haram, as you know, our Muslim brother Khabib is famous in it. He is an inspirational fighter. Can you please guide all our Muslim brothers and me whether to join these sports or not? The basic question posed is that is boxing permitted? Is mixed martial arts MMA permitted? Can we take part in these sports, in this competition? As far as boxing is concerned, before I give the opinion, of the Muslim scholars. As far as boxing is concerned, there are many non-Muslims who are against this sport. And they say this is not a sport at all because it harms the human being. There are many non-Muslim organizations which have objected and have asked that this boxing should be removed from the international sports. It is not a sport at all. As far as Islam is concerned, any sport which is beneficial for the human being, which helps the human being and has got no harm, it should be done. But if the sport is not beneficial and is harmful for the human body, then you should abstain from it. So these non-Muslim organizations, they have filed petitions in many countries. Unfortunately, most of the countries have disagreed except Sweden. Sweden is the only country which has agreed to ban boxing as a sport. If you read the Huna magazine which published from London, they say in the magazine that from 1945 to 1983, in a span of 38 years, 350 boxers have died because of injuries during the boxing match. And there are tens of thousands who have been injured. So based on this, they want to ban this sport because it is harmful for the human being. As far as the Islamic ruling is concerned, we know that our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that when two of the Sahabas were wrestling, he said that do not hit on the face. The Prophet prohibited from hitting on the face. We also know that when the lady who was given the punishment of stoning to death because of adultery, the Prophet said, do not stone her face. Imagine when there is a hath penalty given, when a person is adultery and this punishment given, even at that time the Prophet said they do not hit at the face. So in Islam, hitting at the face or injuring the face is not permitted. So based on this, if you compare and see in boxing, in boxing you get points, especially when there is a boxing match. And you get more points if you hit at the face. The maximum point that you get is hitting at the face. And the best match you can win is with a knockout punch. That means the more you harm the opponent, the more points you get. This is again the concept of Islam. Based on this, according to Imam al nawi he says that this sport it should not be permitted. It's not Islamic because you're harming the body, you're hitting on the face. Based on that, this sport is not permitted. So based on this hadith of not to harm the face, not to harm the human body, most of the scholars, they say that boxing and any type of martial art which causes injury to the human being, in which it involves hitting of the face and injury of the human being, it is not permitted. However, there are some scholars who say that if you are learning boxing, or some martial arts for self-defense without involving in competition. Because in competition, you have to attack your opponent, you have to hit him, you have to beat him, otherwise you cannot win. So they say that if you train yourself in boxing or martial arts only for self-defense or only for health reason or also being prepared for jihad, etc. But it doesn't involve in competition where you have to hit the other person. In this case, it is permitted, this is said only by some scholars. But the majority scholars say 
involving in boxing as well as martial arts where there is injury to the human body and attacking the other person, it is prohibited.